Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. High school junior Jackson Gladwin's education has benefited from smaller classes. When you have too many students in there, you know, it's just, it's overwhelming to control a classroom. Because of the class size amendment passed by voters in 2002, Jackson's core classes can exceed 25 students. But that will likely change soon. Both state houses have passed legislation cutting the number of classes defined as core curriculum from 800 to about 300. It was always the legislature's responsibility to define which courses were going to be considered core. And I think that that's always an evolving process because courses change. But there's still discussion among lawmakers about exactly which classes will be considered core curriculum under the new legislation. But journalism, advanced placement classes, and foreign languages are likely to fall off the list. That concerns Jackson, who says his French class would have been much tougher had more students been in the classroom. When you have way too many students in there, it gets noisy. You know, it's, it's noisy and there are 25 kids, but it's easier to calm down than having 40 kids. That's where you have to make some tough decisions. For principals, the concerns are even more severe. They say the changes will result in layoffs. I won't know until it all shakes out how it's going to work, but here I just hired seven or eight teachers last year, and now I'm going to have to let them go. Reading, writing, and arithmetic are guaranteed protection. What may also be off the chopping block are social studies classes because the Senate president teaches the subject to Florida college students. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.